gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right. So here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Clan. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail. A Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven, I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck.
really impressed by all the wonderful things you have here. I wish my husband would let me have that much art inside the house. But he gets, well, <laughs> he doesn't appreciate it the same way I do. Well, Richard and I have similar interests, so it's really not that hard to get him to go along with my ideas. Although, I have to say, it's been challenging to find a good place for my old microfilm viewer. Right now, it's just collecting dust in the attic. Microfilm? That's an interesting thing to collect. Well, it's sort of a hobby that never really took off. Besides, I don't have any microfilm to play on the viewer anyway. I'm not sure I could find any either. Hmm. Well, Janus next door collects all kinds of ancient memorabilia. He might have a roll or tape or whatever it is that sort of thing uses. I'm sure he'd be delighted to lend you something. That's very good. Back in the day, Janus was known for his obsessive need to archive and keep memorabilia. If he has any microfilm in his house, it might contain something interesting. Station 5, all clear. A lawsuit between Janus and a local resident. It might be just what we're looking for. Batty lives in number 432. shipping container to store some chemicals. I asked him if it was poisonous, but he assured me that it was only a sleeping agent. Get this, he told me that he doesn't kill the bugs, he only sedates them so that he can set them free later. Let me get this straight. He's an exterminator who cares about the lives of insects. What a weirdo. I thought so too, but then... Mr. Blake has many important initiatives to share. Excuse me, sir. Are you a registered voter? I'm... Have a fly. Charles Blake III appreciates... Excuse me, sir. Are you a registered voter? I'd love to tell you about a new candidate who might just change your life. Yes, sir. A total game changer here. I'm listening. Wonderful. Uh, well, I'm sure you're aware that voting season is upon us again. Um, and if you're anything like me, a recent immigrant to this fine country, the candidates this time around just aren't very, um, savory. But we have a man here today who's about to change all that. I don't care much for politics. That is exactly why Bla Hey, back off a bit, would you? That is exactly why Blake is out ringing doorbells today. He has no stakes in Washington. No connections to the establishment. No allies hidden away in lawless groups that pull the strings around the world. He's just a common man. Good on you. Be sure to vote come election day. I bet they got a few different kinds of beer on you. Hey, you guys haven't been poking around the that is exactly why Blake is out ringing doorbells. Have a fly. Read more about Charles Blake the Third.
Honey, it's me. You called? Yes, I know they're coming for dinner. I have to finish my rounds. Hmm, a lawsuit between Janus and another resident. Might be a good place to start your investigation into Janus's life, 47. I suggest you look closer at this James Batty fellow. I thought this was supposed to be a quiet Saturday, but there are just so many letters. I got a package for Batty as well. Did you know he was engaged in a lawsuit against Janus, that old Russian guy I talked about? No, there's only me here to cover it. I would love it if someone else could help, even if it was only with that package to Batty. He talks and talks, and I just don't have time for that today. All right, I'll call you when I'm over by the bus. Do you need some help? You know what, friend? I could indeed use some help. It's very kind of you to ask. People in this neighborhood are just so friendly. That's what I really love about this place. No problem. What do you need? Well, I'm running awfully late today. Chatty people in this neighborhood, you know? Anyway, I've got this package for James Batty at number 432. Would you be able to deliver it to him? I wouldn't normally just hand over a package like that, but you look very trustworthy. I could do that. House number 432? Yes, big house at the bend in the road. It's undergoing fumigation at the moment, so you can't miss it. Just leave it in the mailbox and ring his doorbell, and he'll come get it. He lives in his shed in the backyard, so it might take a few moments for him to show up. Consider it done. Thank you again. This place is just amazing. Helen gives away muffins, and you're helping deliver packages. What a day! I'll remove both units when I'm done with Mr. Paddy's house. He's more uh, cost efficient like that. No, I didn't. Our expensive chemicals are deadly. You know I won't use chemical weapons on innocent defenseless animals. Well, you do things your way, I do things my way. Good. I'll talk to you later. Bye.
Oh, oh, reflux. Thank you. 